Hi friends, this is Jennifer from Decor Sauce, and today the project I'm gonna be completing for you is painting my outdoor uh, hot tub spa. And I'm just gonna paint the outside because I just don't like this ugly redwood color. And um, I've been wanting to do it for a while. We actually bought this hot tub used a few years ago. The cabinet is in really good shape. And I just, the only drawback about it was the color. So I'm gonna fix that today. And the color I chose is actually going to be exactly the same as the um, pool deck, floor, ceiling, walls, and everything. And that way it just blends in seamlessly and it doesn't look like an eyesore. Um, I'm not doing the cover yet. Um, we'll replace that at some point, which will, so it doesn't really matter that the cover is red. Those are not really that expensive and it needs to be replaced anyway. So right now I'm just doing the outside pool spa or the uh, hot tub spa cabinet. And the product I'm going to use for it is um, a PPG exterior paint. You know that I love PPG paint. Um, it's never failed me once. I love the consistency. It doesn't drip. It holds up really well. You can scrub it. It's awesome. So no reason why I shouldn't use their exterior paint and give it a try. Actually, I've never used their exterior paint before until I painted this pool deck myself last week. So it works just the same as the interior paint. I love it. Uh, the color is swirling smoke it's one of ppg's signature colors for this year 2019 and it's a, a very light um it's in the white family a grayish taupey color so it looks really nice on the pool deck and it will look really nice on the hot tub behind me so the first thing i have to do to get the spa ready for painting is clean it with the either um, the TSP substitute solution that I've recommended in the past or um, in this case I just used a little um, vinegar and lemon juice and a scrub brush just so that I could scrub out all the all the dirt and stuff from you know just living outdoors and pollen and I just did a synthetic wire brush like this one and as you can see there's my bucket of solution so I've already actually scrubbed this down and then the next thing I'm gonna do is paint it. So um, I'm not gonna use a primer on this one. I don't think it needs it with an exterior paint. This PPG has the primer already built in and I think that'll do just fine. I'm not worried about the coverage on this. It is a resin material. It's not wood, it's resin. So, which is kind of like a plastic, a heavy duty plastic. Um, I'm going to apply it with my trusty two inch angle paintbrush. I use this for everything, I love it. I kind of beat it up when I used it to paint this uh, textured stucco. Um, so, and it's still going, as long as you keep it clean, it's fine. And uh, so I'm gonna use that. And then I'm going to also use a small roller, this one. And I'm just gonna use the paintbrush for the cutting and the cracks in between the surfaces and then I'm gonna roll the rest so that I get a smooth and seamless finish. Seamless finish. So please stay tuned. I will, um, I'm gonna just go to town and I will share it with you along the way. gotten the first coat of paint on the spa cabinet and I did it all the paintbrush so I could get in all the little crevices between the panels and also the top and bottom without making any mistakes and for the second coat I'm going to just use the roller so I'll keep my paintbrush handy in case that I see that I missed anything on my way around but to get that smooth finish now I'm gonna go ahead and use the roller as you can see there it's a small one a small little sponge roller. So I'm going to get going on that and I'll show you what it looks like after the second coat is finished. So it's been three months since I refinished my hot tub spa cabinet and not that I didn't mean to update you guys quicker right after I did it, but um, at least this way you get to see how it's worn after three months. And it's behind me here. So after three months, it, the spa cabinet has held up positively beautiful. There isn't a single scratch or any damage to any of the fresh paint, which is really a relief since I opted not to use a primer, which I normally always say use a primer. So, um, but anyways, 
since it's on the outside of the hot tub cabinet and we don't have anyone clawing at the sides or anything with their nails, it's held up beautifully and we use it about every day and have for the past three months. So it certainly has gotten enough use by now to know um, if this technique that I used was good enough for a spa cabinet. I know I have some fellow spa owners out there who also hate the color of their spa cabinet but have just been hesitant to change the color because it is kind of a risky endeavor um, if your cabinet isn't, you know, if it's not the worst and you're just picky about the color like I was. But I'm really happy that I did it because it's really held up so well and it just blends in now seamlessly with the rest of the decor out here on the patio. So it's just not the eyesore that it was before uh, when it was the red color. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and liking and subscribing to my videos. I'm posting new content every Friday, so please feel free to check back. I've got lots of good interior home stuff, painting and the like. Have a happy DIY.